I want to go way back into the beginning of your journey, and we know that you would watch your mother refashion shoes. I did. Is this where your love, your passion of designing and for shoes was born? I always love um, see people's faces and down the feet, especially on the beach. Yes, I love feet, the way they move, they express themselves. It was since I was a boy uh, in the museum, like people watching and everything, and just on the Greek statues looking the feet, they're beautifully, and they still have that kind of thing. Why do you think shoes have captivated you, and shoes in general have captivated the world? Is that I'm always guessing what is inside, which is beautiful shape and beautiful thing. I love that. I want to talk about for you as a designer. How do you maintain your own aesthetic and yet still stay so relevant? You know, trends change, but your style is timeless. That is a difficult question because I never thought about that. I have no perception of this kind of... Trends? Trends or things like that, no, I don't. In fact, I ignore if I can. So what inspires you when you design? Many, many things I cannot even say one. In the, when I'm in bed, sleeping, I get dreams. I dream all the time, actually. And I got things nearby, which I do sketches, and the next day I say, God, what well, crazy, stupid things I'm doing. And sometimes I say, oh, it's not bad. Let's gonna use it. And so, and there yeah, it is. This is what I am. It comes yeah. to you in dreams. But it um, comes to me, yes, more or less. Well, actually, they weren't sandals, they were Manolos. I must ask about Sex in the City. That show has become a cultural movement. Isn't it funny? In Russia, yes. they asked me the other day the same thing. We watch it all every in the reruns, they watch it all yes. the time in Russian translated. It will never die. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's universal. And Manolo Blahnik became almost like the fifth character, you know, in many, many ways. I guess because um, it was funny. Patricia and Sarah Jessica knew my work before from Los Angeles. And they when they started to do the shop, they came to the shop and bought whatever they want to buy, and that was happened. I never forced anybody to do to, to it, but it was incredible. Sort of, um, we had incredible luck to be in that show. And Miss Parker was a goddess uh, for us. So we just been known in that kind of public before I didn't. That, thank you to sex in the city. Well, maybe for you, perhaps that was a different day, but I want to fast forward to today because women today continue to adore your shoes. And there are people with the name, for example. I'm lucky. To you're lucky, but if I may indulge you for a moment, Meghan Markle, uh, new royalty, we'll say, has also been spotted in your shoes. I, I've been what told, do you but think I haven't. Of that? I, I've been told that. Yes. Somebody What's your told reaction? Me in a story, which is a great compliment. She's a beautiful, adorable woman. I mean, come on. If you just don't like that kind of women, I don't know what you like. But uh, <laughs> beautiful. It's a great honor to be chosen by Miss Parker, the future princess. Uh, I don't know. It's the day. I'm that lucky. Is there a person that you would love to see your shoes on? She's not here anymore. She's been dead for the last three centuries, Marie Antoinette. Marie Antoinette. Antoinette. In the film, I did that film. Sophia called me and said, oh, I do it. I didn't think about how much it was going to be. I do it. Boom. I love that woman. She knew about that. She called me and said, ooh. I'm afraid the Queen has a somewhat artistic temperament. It's not too much, is it? <gasps> no. If I were to be a muse for you for a moment and you could envision a shoe on me. Now I got it. Hold now, on. I've seen Hold you on. here. You've seen me I, here. Wait, I can wait. do it. Can I design here? Uh, you think you like botanical? Okay, let's have I mean, it. I don't want to influence you, but I do love botanicals. My mother's from the Philippines. My father's from Portugal and Brazil. Really? You're from the Philippines? Yeah, my mother. I thought you were Spanish or Italian. Well, people think. And J-Lo is my muse in life. Oh, she's fabulous. So I don't want to influence you or anything, though. But this is a shoe that possibly that would great will be great in you a new oh my goodness for summer. for summer too do you mind um sign <gasps> it? could you sign it and then i'm going to show the camera because this is <laughs> don't, a highlight don't. highlight of my life oh my don't take myself gosh. seriously this is like a doodle in my wildest dreams i couldn't do this this is a masterpiece it's beautiful yes <laughs> This is beautiful. You are a master indeed. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you very it's been much wonderful for being to with you, you, actually. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. Thank you.